Let's take a closer look at those sand berms up tonight in several spots along Seal Beach as crews work to protect those low lying areas that frequently flood. And public safety leaders are tonight asking you to take the storm seriously. They're reminding us of a similar storm that came ashore just north of Seal Beach that killed 93. Our Lauren Posen has the story. Everyone here is talking about uh, Hurricane Hillary and what might happen uh, when the storm rolls through here. You know, preparations are already being made here. The berms are up, but you know, there's so much uncertainty. So what we did tonight for you is we took a look in the past because believe it or not, this area has gone through this once before. It has been a very long time since an actual intact tropical storm level tropical cyclone has made landfall anywhere in California. It was the 1930s. A tropical storm dumped 11 inches of rain with wind gusting up to 65 miles an hour. Beach communities flooded. It destroyed boats and washed away homes from Huntington Beach to Malibu. Downtown was under three feet of water. In all, 93 people on land and at sea died. And of course, this was way before the days of satellite and radar and all that, so people really weren't aware that it was coming. He says it's rare for strong tropical weather to hit this area because of how cold the water is off our coast. So it does weaken tropical systems quite rapidly as they move north. Uh, and uh, so, but the moisture is still there, so that's the issue. There's still a lot of uncertainty, but if the past offers a lesson for the present, the weather experts say we should be prepared. It has a strong potential to affect many Californians and disrupt their daily lives. Uh, that is pretty unusual for, for weather in, in mid-August. One thing this couple visiting from Michigan says they know for sure is they're hunkering down. We're going to stay close because we don't know what to expect. If there was one positive that came from that storm in 1939, it's that the National Weather Service opened up its first Southern California office a few months after. Before that, it didn't exist. Reporting in Seal Beach, Lauren Posen, KCAL News. Well, coming up in our second half hour here on KCAL News, meteorologist Evelyn Taft will have much more on Hillary and what we can expect from the hurricane. And be sure to stay with KCAL News, KCALnews.com, and our streaming service, CBS News Los Angeles, for the latest on Hillary and to track the storm. You can go to our website for interactive radar, seven day forecast, and much more. And this is developing news tonight. Maui's Emergency Services Director steps down amid criticism.